Hey my Libra babies, this is going to be your quick read. This is going to be a who's stalking you. I'm doing who's stalking you reads this week for the Zodiac so we can see what's going on in your energy. Please like and hit the subscribe button. What's this energy here? Also, I will be leaving all my information below. Those of you guys that want to donate to the channel or book personal readings or check out my TikTok lives. I will leave all of that below. What is the energy here for Libras? Take what resonates and Libra does not resonate with you. Everything will not resonate with you. If you are new, welcome in. I hope for you to join the family. Y'all, I have not been able to talk clearly during this retrograde. Oh, it's going to be a crazy retrograde from now to September. Y'all, prepare for this craziness to come out in these readings. <laughs> okay? Like, TikTok lives have been crazy this last week. It's been fun, but it's been crazy. The craziest energy hitting the table. Everybody's shit just hitting the table. All right? So, make sure you follow me on TikTok because we be having fun and we get to the T and we get everything to hit the damn table. Okay? What's the energy here? For Libras, what do they need to know? What do Libras need to know in this time? Who's stalking them in this time? Someone that could be stalking you could be in bad health. This could be physically, mentally, or emotionally. Yeah, look, and then toxic. What's this energy? Can I get one more? Family heritage, something passed down, ancestors. This is giving me like, this is going to be a confirmation message. So I'm going to set this to the side. This is going to be like a confirmation message for someone. Someone's ancestors want them to know something. Okay. About someone from their past. Yeah, look. You have abundance coming your way and your ancestors are trying to protect that. You could be at a distance from whoever this person is that's stalking you currently. Okay, so we're going to leave that over here. Let's tap into this energy. What is this bad health? What is this bad health for who's stalking Libras currently? What is this energy? Energy for Libras and this bad health. What is this energy? Ooh, for bad health, eight of pentacles. Somebody definitely wants to work on something with you. So someone could be planning on returning. What's this bad health energy? Who's stalking Libra in this time? Yeah, whoever's doing this, this could be someone that you view as secretive. Or like someone that hid something from you. This could be a Scorpio. Whoever this person is that's watching you for some of you. Like I said, they could be in bad health. And they could be keeping this a secret. Yeah, look, with judgment. But something's going to be revealed here. Two of Swords, yeah. You're going to have a decision to make with this person. I feel like they're coming in wanting to reconcile. What's this energy for who's stalking Libra? Yeah, Ten of Cups. For some of you, this could be someone you got a kid with. For others of you, this is just someone that views you as emotional fulfillment. Someone that they can have a family with. What's this energy? What's this energy for Libra? Who's stalking Libra and why? Yeah, Page of Swords. And literally as the Page of Swords is coming out, I just heard getting down to the truth, okay? So some type of truth is going to be revealed here or you're going to be enlightened about something or you were, this could be an example of the person, okay, that's stalking you. Maybe you were enlightened about some type of secret in the past, okay? Or that someone was allowing fear to get in the way of them having a connection with you in the past. But also, there's a lot of things that you may or may not have known. So I feel like this, like I said, with this family ancestors energy over here, I feel like this is a warning message or a confirmation for some of you. That someone is watching you. Page of Swords is stalking energy. So this is someone that's definitely watching you. They could be in bad health and this could be emotionally 
or physically or both. But someone's definitely in some type of bad health when it comes to you or they're thinking about you heavy in this time. They may even feel betrayed by you. Seven of Swords. Yeah, Ace of Swords. That's confirmation. Page of Swords and Ace of Swords are both confirmation cards. Four of Wands. This could have been someone that wanted to reconcile with you. And I say been because I don't feel like this person still can want to reconcile with you. But for some of you, I feel like this person, they want to come in and be toxic or come in and fuck up your happiness, your abundance. Because you guys have been at a distance for a while. Look, I'm not saying, look, I'm not making this up. Trying to get to you and your happiness. Caught lurking on your page energy, page of swords energy. Look, and this is going on in the present moment. I'm telling you, Page of Swords here twice. After I just said that. This is someone that may just be coming in to fuck with your peace and your happiness. Trying to get to you. Because for some of you, they did want to reconcile. But they feel betrayed by you. So it's like now they want to come in and fuck with your peace, your happiness, your abundance. Because they feel like you may be hiding the fact that you are emotionally fulfilled elsewhere with someone else right now. For some of you. So at first it was about reconciling. Yeah, but now they want to fuck with your happiness. And you may have to stand your ground. Seven of Wands. Leo energy. Scorpio. Wow. <laughs> if y'all don't know and you're new here, yes, definitely go follow my TikTok. I do not play, okay? As y'all can see, I channel and I say stuff. I'm an intuitive reader. I'm not just a tarot reader. So when I feel something, when I channel something, or I see it in my third eye, and I tell y'all, that's what it is. Because literally, as I'm saying that, this person did want to reconcile with you, but now it could be to seek revenge. And then we see abundance trying to get to you. Like I said, happiness. Fuck with your happiness. Yeah. So confirmations on confirmations. Can I get another one here for Libra? This is a straight to the point message. Literally. <laughs> We have the hangman here, the high priest, the tower, the six of pentacles. This person, they want you to walk away from something else. If you, like I said, if they do know you're in something, they're watching you well enough to know something. They're, they got some type of knowledge on, about something. They've been studying you. That's the energy I'm getting. They want you to let something go or they want to fuck something up for you, the hangman. Where you have no choice but to surrender a situation. But the divine is telling you, trust your intuition, high priest. Because someone is trying to bring you a tower because they're toxic and they're unhappy. And they want to bring you a tower too, six of pentacles. Because they feel like you're too balanced. Things are going too good in your life. Yes, you've turned your back. Three of Wands, you don't want nothing to do with them anymore. And they were stuck waiting, thinking that you were going to return or trying to reconcile with you before or wanting to reconcile with you before. But you had them blocked for some of you on everything. But here they come, Knight of Swords, coming towards you. But not with good intentions. Yeah, judgment. The divine is going to reveal all, though. All of this is happening because somebody's in heartbroken energy. Eight of Swords, and they want you to be stuck. They don't want you to have what you want. They don't want you to be happy because they're not happy. And I'm hearing they want to put a pause on your happiness. Yeah, somebody wants to put a pause on your happiness because they're unhappy. Can I get another message here? Yeah, at first it was all about getting back with you, but now it's all about messing up your life or making you feel the way they feel. That's what I'm getting here. The Wheel of Fortune coming in to interrupt your peace or trying to cause chaos. If you are dealing with someone new, yeah, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, because they feel like you're emotionally fulfilled elsewhere and you're, you're silent about it or you're not really... Maybe you're not posting a lot about your relationship online if you are in a relationship because you're keeping your privacy there's a power in privacy, right? But this person wants to cause a tower because they feel like you're going to have the full thing in a minute. Abundance, which is that pentacles and that ten of cups. So ten of pentacles energy. They're going to feel like you're having all of it with someone else. 
they feel like they put in a lot of time and effort to fix something or to have something with you too just for you to take a leap of faith into something new or elsewhere and it's leaving them a little pissed off at you all right so let's see can we dealing with an aquarius gemini scorpio a leo a cancer pisces What's this energy? What's this energy? Close this out for Libra. Put yourself where you go in this situation. But I feel like somebody just wants you to feel their pain or how they feel. Look, <laughs> misdirection. Not listening to their intuition. They want you to block it. Yeah, that's why the high priest is here on toxic they, they don't want you to listen to your intuition they want you to make a bad decision because they're coming back into your life or they, they're going to say something to try to get you to spend some time with them or to, it's whatever it is they were trying to misdirect you a bad decision or judgment call i'm telling you judgment already came out they want you to be confused about your future path about what you have going on someone wants to come in and i don't know if they want to come in making it seem like they want to fix something with you but it's all to see you fuck up and crumble whatever it is you're building with somebody else for some of you. Or they just don't want you to move forward. They don't want you to meet someone. So it's either they don't want you to meet someone or they don't want you to go to the next level. Which could be marriage. Ten of Pentacles with somebody else. Look, mirror. This person has a lot of like inner wounds they need to heal. They need to do some self-reflecting. And stop trying to come in and be toxic and mess with you. They need to be trying to figure things out for themselves. Look, they, they may even come in and try to hook up with you. Third party. This is a past energy for some of you, though. That are still attracted to you. They may know that you're still attracted to them. Whether y'all together or not. They, they still feel like there's attraction there. And they may try to come in and tempt you. Like I said, spending time with you. Hooking up with you. They may even tell you they miss you. They want to make new memories with you, but it's all to have you in this single energy. But you're going to be making healthy choices. And this is going to shock this person that you don't want to deal with them anymore. Yes, because you discover what they own. You know what they're on. You're seeing the hidden truth. You're well aware of what they're trying to do. You're done with them. You've been done with them. Yeah, like I said, some of y'all could be getting married. They want to stop you from getting married or they want to stop you from getting serious with someone. Or meeting someone and getting serious and getting to this point. They want to self-sabotage it. I'm not making this up. They want to self-sabotage it. Okay? Somebody wants to self-sabotage it. But you're making healthy choices. Okay? You're making healthy choices. Let's see. Let's get some messages here and close this out. This is sad. They want you to miss out on happiness. So here they come to try to destroy it. 1331 on the clock as I said that. What does person want to say to Libras about who stop blah blah blah? Can I talk? What does this person want to say to Libras, the person who's stalking them? Can we work this out? Yeah. They don't come in telling you this. They feel like you're amazing. Why wouldn't somebody want to be with you? I know I was a fool, but I'm truly sorry. Yeah. Whatever they did to you to make you leave them in the past, Libra, it's like they feel like that could have been worked out. But instead, you just ran off and you gave up. Yeah, they're, and they're done pretending that they don't care or that it's not bothering them. So they're coming in and trying to fuck with your peace. All right, they're done pretending that it doesn't bother them because it does. Okay, especially if you're with someone new and they have to see it. And they feel like that could have been you guys or something like that. At first it was about just coming back in to reconcile. Now it's about fucking up your peace entirely because they feel like you didn't care about them or their emotions or their feelings. Can I get a message here? Why do I feel so lost? Yep. Why do I feel so lost? 
I wish to be like you. This person wants to be happy too. This is the energy that I keep saying. You didn't give, they feel like you didn't give the relationship with them a chance. You didn't really fight for it. They wish to be like you. They, they, they wish to have that connection that some of you may be in now after walking away from them. And they're feeling some type of way. I'm afraid to lose you. Yeah, they feel like they're losing you and they feel lonely. They feel lonely without you. I can't take it anymore. Yep. These feelings are eating me alive. They have a lot of feelings. A lot of feelings, a lot of emotions. Okay. But that is what I have for you guys. Hit that like button if it resonated. Hit that like button if you just enjoyed the message. Or if you just want to like the video so other people can see the video or catch the video on YouTube if they need to see it. So liking will definitely help. I will leave all my information, especially my TikTok, in the description box. I love you guys and hope to see you new people coming back again. And for all the regulars, I will see y'all next time. And yeah, bye my moonies.